Eric Kane, and here at Hosemaster we make metal hoses. Every metal hose has four integral parts. The interior hose, the exterior braid, the braid collars and the cap welds at each end, and the end fittings that we use to connect the hose. The most common alloy that we make hoses out of here at Hosemaster is 321 stainless steel. We use 321 because it's good for welding our end fittings on the ends, and it has a pretty good temperature resistance. It allows the hose to keep its integrity up to about 1300 degrees. Sometimes the application needs a little bit more chemical resistance though, in which case we'd upgrade to 316 stainless steel. 316 might look the same to the naked eye, but it contains more nickel and other alloying elements to make it more chemically resistant. In applications like chlorine transfer, where we need even more chemical resistance, we do C276, which is a high nickel alloy that contains a lot of nickel, even more alloying elements and molybdenum to give it the highest chemical resistance. Keep in mind when you're building an assembly, that if the media on the inside of the hose needs a more resistant alloy, you'll probably need to address the braid and end fittings as well um, to make sure that everything is chemically resistant inside and outside the hose. For assistance in choosing the right hose for your application, give us a call at Hosemaster and we'll ensure that you get the right alloy for the longest and safest performance.